not afraid to let go uh. You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, suicide if you ever try to let go uh. I'm sad and know, yeah I'm sad and know, yeah Who am I? Someone not afraid to let go uh. You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, All right, guys, so we're checking out the top five misconceptions about Islam from your boy a merciful merciful servant so um, we're gonna check him out and I'm gonna give my opinion afterwards I'm gonna try that because people get pissed when I pause in the middle of the video the fuck y'all want want to watch me like a movie Top five misconceptions of us number five Islam was spread by the sword there is no record in history that shows people being forced by sword point to convert to Islam. Muslims ruled Arabia for over 1,400 years, yet today, there are over 14 million Arabs who are Coptic Christians. If the Muslims had used a sword, there would not have been a single Arab who ever made Christian. Another example is India. Muslims ruled India for over a thousand years. If they had wanted, they had the power to convert each and every non-Muslim of India to Islam. But Today, more than 80% of the population of India are non-Muslims. All these non-Muslim Indians are bearing witness today that Islam was not spread by the sword. If one considers a small number of Muslims... To be honest, if anything, Christianity was spread by the sword. Because <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, man. I feel like the Europeans and the Spaniards tried to force Christianity on civilizations first. I mean... Arguably, you could say they're forcing capitalism and democracy on other nations that don't want it either. Not saying democracy is not a good thing. I think it is. But uh, you can't force every nation to want to follow the same rules, you know? To initially spread Islam to the west, all the way from Spain and Morocco, and, and to the east from India and China, one would realize that such a small group of people could not force others to be members of religion against their will. It is also interesting to note that when the Mongols invaded and conquered large portions of the Islamic Empire, they themselves embraced the religion of Islam. Number 4. Muslims believe in a different God Some non-Muslims incorrectly believe that Muslims worship a God different than Jews and Christians. This might be due to the fact that Muslims refer to God as Allah. In actuality, Muslims worship the God of Noah, Abraham, Moses, and Jesus. The word Allah is simply the Arabic word for Almighty God. The word Allah is very unique. Nothing else except God can be called Allah. The term has no plural or gender. This shows its uniqueness when compared with the word God, which can be made plural gods or feminine goddess. Christian Arabs also refer to God as Allah. Number three, Muslims don't believe in Jesus. That's crazy. I can't believe people actually thought that. Of course they believe in Jesus. They just don't believe that Jesus is, is, is someone you should worship. Like in Christianity, they, re, they worship Christ, uh, they, they worship Jesus Christ. Whereas in, Muslim, in the Muslim religion, they have respect for Jesus, but they don't worship him, if that makes sense. Many people are amazed to find out that according to Muslim belief, Jesus is one of the greatest messengers of God. One cannot be Muslim without believing in the virgin birth and the many miracles of Jesus. Jesus is also mentioned in many verses of the Quran and is often used as an example of good virtue and character. However, the main difference between Christianity and Islam is that Muslims do not believe that Jesus was God or the Son of God. Muslims believe that Jesus was a prophet and a messenger of God. Number two, Muslim women are oppressed. <coughs> One of the most is <coughs> If you believe that, if you believe that Muslim women are oppressed, you're fucking nuts, okay? Just because they wear a hijab, it's a fucking style. It's part of their culture. If you actually believe this, you are a dumbass, okay? But if you, you know, if you do believe that it is part of their culture and the hijab is just a, a kind of a fashion statement, I think it's it's kind of a cool fashion statement. And it's, um, 
it's part of their culture. If you believe in that, then good. But if you actually believe that they're oppressed, you're crazy. You're crazy. Derping misconceptions is a negative portrayal of women in Islam. Namely, that Islam degrades and oppresses women. This misconception is due to the negative culture and traditions that people all over the world still hold on to. Unfortunately, these traditions sometimes overshadow the Islamic teaching and people from the outside believe that the traditions and Islam are the same when in reality, they are not. For example, women in pre-Islamic Arabia had almost no rights. They were viewed as objects and were constantly humiliated. Their purpose was nothing more than to obey men and have children for him. When a female baby was born, it was considered a disgrace to the family and they were often buried alive. Islam brought positive change to Arabia. People who embraced Islam had to let go of these harmful cultural practices. Wait, they buried... What, what the fuck? ...and women were finally given the rights and respect that they deserved. For every male convert to Islam today, four females convert to the religion. Nobody will convert to religion that oppresses them. The truth is that Islam provides women with the rights they deserve to be successful in this world and the next. Number one, Muslims are terrorists and extremists. Yeah, no, this that's not the, that's not true. That's not true either. <laughs> They're not. I mean, you have some radical Muslims, but you also have some radical Christians. You have ra you have crazy people in every group. Okay, I'm not religious, but there's crazy people in every race too. Okay, there's crazy people. There's a few rotten apples in every group. Let's just let's just agree with that one, okay? By far the biggest misconception of Islam, given unfairly by stereotyping in the public image that the media gives. Has anyone else noticed how when a specific group of people attack another group of people, it is labeled as a hate crime? But when a Muslim opens fire on anybody, it is quickly regarded as terrorism. Many political dictators and officials or extremist groups use the name of Islam as a strategy to gain followers and attention when many of their practices go against the teachings of Islam. Islam does not support terrorism under any circumstances. Terrorism goes against every principle in Islam and if a Muslim engages in terrorism, he is not following Islam. Islam prohibits Muslims from attacking or killing any innocent person. Allah says, Whoever kills a person unjustly, it is as though he has killed all mankind. In Quran, chapter 5, verse 32. If you enjoyed our... I hope this video clears some misconceptions. I hope I spread it that. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Um, but yeah, think twice, guys. If you are one of those people who thought wrong about Islam, you need to get your shit together. Because, uh... <laughs> Islam is not no evil. There, there's way worse things out here. Trust me. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, thanks so much for watching and peace. Hey, guys, make sure you purchase the Merch Wise Hot Boy and make sure you click the link in the description, man. What are you waiting for? Make sure you turn on post notifications, subscribe, and check out the latest videos in my music and the merch link and other stuff. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for the support.